To many, the PlayStation brand has been about pushing the boundaries of play, but the name represents more than just its family of consoles. It represents a fundamental change in the way that we think of games. Whereas games were originally considered toys for children, PlayStation has always strived to prove that they can be much more. A great example of this shift in the definition of games came in the early 90s, when Sony Computer Entertainment set out to build a new kind of racing game, one that could appeal to an older group of consumers. That game would go on to become Gran Turismo, the first mass-market driving simulator. Armed with a staggering list of 140 licensed cars, 11 real-world tracks, and a simulation driving experience, Gran Turismo would quickly win critical praise and go on to sell 10 million copies. It would also spawn a long-running franchise that would sell over 60 million units worldwide and change the way gamers would think of racing games from an arcade experience to a real driving simulator. Gran Turismo highlights how PlayStation changed people's perceptions on racing games, but redefined the gaming experience in many other genres as well. Since the original PlayStation, Sony Computer Entertainment has always supported experimental kinds of gameplay, and with new, radically different games such as Flow, Flower, Eco, Shadow of the Colossus, The Unfinished Swan, Journey, Wonderbook, and Little Big Planet. PlayStation is exposing gamers to unique artistic experiences. These games do not follow the path of traditional games. There are no clear enemies, no guns, their graphics do not necessarily revolve around realism, and their messages are not as simple as those of other games. But these experiences stand apart from other games with social commentary, experimental gameplay, unique graphics, and in Journey's case, Grammy-nominated soundtracks. PlayStation, more than any other platform, is striving to change how we experience games and continues to push the boundaries of play.